Hello everyone, welcome to Computerized Engineering. In this video, we will do 3D sketching using projected curves technique. Now, projected curves technique is a technique where one curve is projected onto another curve to create a curve in 3D space. And let me show you an example. So we will create two curves like so, and then we will project them together to have this curve in 3D space. And then we will use this to create uh, this pipe profile. As always, I have prepared a presentation over here, which is available to download from the link in description. And I have broken this down into six simpler steps so that it's easier for you to follow. Additionally, there is another way to do 3D sketching in FreeCAD, which is discussed on this video on my channel. If you have downloaded this PDF, you can just simply click over here. If you're watching the video on YouTube, the link should appear somewhere over here and also in the description. So basically in this technique, what I do is I create four points and then I go to draft workbench and use polyline to connect these lines in order to create a 3D uh, shape. And if you like my content, you can offer your support by buying me a coffee. The link is over here also in description. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So once you open FreeCAD, you will see the start page over here. Just go to empty file tasks, create body, create sketch and before we begin our sketch let's have a look at step number one. So in step one first what we have to do is create this base circle over here then we have to create a datum plane and on this datum plane we will create this triangular shape and then give this a thickness. So let's start with this uh, base circle which has a diameter of 60 millimeter. So for that I will go over here top XZ plane and choose this option create circle by center and create a circle which has a diameter of 60 millimeter close return to model and now what i will do is create a datum plane which is 100 millimeters away from this uh, plane over here this one xz plane so just go over here create a datum plane okay and in references, I will select XZ plane. This will be our only reference. And in attachment offset, let's give this an offset of 100 millimeter. And let's click on flip sides. Okay. Let's hide the origin by clicking on this eye icon here. And let's hide the datum plane as well. And while the datum plane is selected, go to sketch. And here I will just make sure that when I am making the sketch, this uh, base is towards me this is facing me and this is important because when we are making this triangular shape here we can see that uh, this base is facing towards us and this triangular uh, shape this is a bit towards the right from this uh, vertical axis over here so let's do that and let's choose this option create polyline and just create a triangle like so using the polyline and it should be a bit towards the right side press escape to exit from the polyline and now let's assign it some constraint i want this to be symmetrical so for that just go here toggle construction geometry choose this line and create a line like this and make this perpendicular now you can see this is symmetrical now we have fillet on each edge like so and a circle on each edge as well so let's do that to create a fillet choose this option create fillet here here and here and return from construction geometry to normal and choose this option create circle by center and create a circle on each edge like so and one in the middle as well select these circles and make them equal and make the fillets equal as well yeah now once we assign dimension to one of it all of them will be automatically assigned so 15 and this is 15 as well Let's drag this to give this a normal shape. Yep, this is good. Okay, now we can start assigning dimensions. 
So let's start with this one. This is 50 millimeters from this uh, vertical axis. So this and this, this is 50. And next, this is 25 and 50. So let's give this one 25 and 50. Okay. And this circle over here lies on this vertical axis. So choose this point, this axis, coincident. Okay, next what we have to do is give this dimension, 150. So this one is 150. Okay, we just have one degree of freedom, which is this one. And this circle is 50. So, yeah, our sketch is fully constrained. Let's close. And now what we have to do is extrude it. And when, you, when you're when you extruding it, make sure that this extrusion is towards this side. And just select this sketch, go to pad, and check reversed. 15, okay. So we are done with step number one. Let's proceed to step two where we have to create these two curves. And so this is the first curve. This is the second curve. And by the end of this step, you should get something like this. So let's see how it's done. Let's create the first sketch on this X on this plane. So this X Z plane. And basically what we have to do is create a straight line, then an arc, then another another arc. Both of these arcs have a radius of 60 millimeter, and this straight line uh, has a length of 50 millimeter. Let's create a straight line using create line. And now let's create arcs using create arc by three points. So create two arcs like this, and select both of them, make them equal because both of them have a radius of 60 millimeter. Select both of them again and make them tangent. Now let's assign this dimension. And the second one will be 60 millimeter automatically. Now let's drag this point a bit towards the left and make this 10 millimeters from this axis and 147.5 from the base. Now the next thing what we have to do is click here create external geometry and create a reference over here. Select both of these points and make them constrain vertical. Okay, what do we have left? Just have to give dimension over here. This is 50. Now the first curve is fully constrained. Let's close this and let's proceed with the second curve which is on this plane, YZ plane. Let's go to model and hide this sketch, return to tasks and let's have a look at curve number two. So a straight line followed by a curve and then a straight line again. So again create a straight line using create line a straight line then a curve using create arc by three points a curve and then a straight line again so let's have a look at the constraint uh, the curve is tangent on both ends so tangent over here and here as well the curve has a radius of 70 millimeter and this point from this axis is 100 and from here until here this is 150 okay our sketch is fully constrained let's close this as well now let's view both of the curves and let's rename them so let's call this curve 1 and let's call this curve 2 so this is the end for step number two. Let's have a look at step three. In step three, we have to go to curves workbench and choose this option. 
mixed curve and if you don't see curves workbench or you haven't used this workbench before you can install this from the add-on manager it's very simple I will tell you how to do it and once we choose this option mixed curve you can see that you will get a curve in 3d space like this so let's first of all have a look at how to install curves workbench go to add-on manager search curves this one so I have this already installed and once you install it you will have to restart FreeCAD again so make sure you have saved your file and once this is installed and the FreeCAD is restarted you should see curves over here so go to this workbench and select both of these curves the order of selection is not important and then choose this option mixed curve now here you can see we have our curve in 3d space but this is not extended all the way towards the end over here and the reason for that is we have to go to curve number one and make an extension over here so choose this option create line and just create a straight line over here let's give this a dimension of 100 close this and now you can see this is extended all the way so we replicated both of the curves but there was a gap and in order to fix this gap we um, extended curve number one to get something like this now let's proceed to step number four where we will have a look at what a shape binder is and and also we will create a profile on the flange as well so that we can uh, connect both of these profiles to have this pipe shape so return to part design and in model we can see that we are working on this active body and this mixed curve is outside of this active body so in order to have this mixed curve inside this active body what we will do is click over here and then choose create a sub object shape binder and now you can hide this here you can see you have um, this binder which has allowed this mixed curve to be in this active body and the next thing what we have to do is create uh, a profile on this flange as well so click on this face begin your sketch and let's create a reference over here so that we can snap uh, the circle over here and let's keep this at 60 millimeter close so now we have the base profile and the flange profile let's rename this let's call this flange profile uh, 60 64 its diameter and this one base profile so once you have this uh, path and both of these profiles just go to this option additive pipe and in select attachment choose base profile okay and now in path to sweep along click on add edge and then uh, start selecting all of these edges and finally in a selection transformation go to multi section add section and then choose this flange profile click OK and you should get something like this so this is the end for step number four in step five we have to create this hollow part over here and in order to do that what we will do is uh, create two profiles one on the base and one on the flange which have a diameter of 50 millimeter so let's quickly do that click on this face and start your sketch create sketch and just create a circle over here and in order to you know snap this uh, circle exactly at the center what I will do is um, open this additive pipe flange profile let's view this and let's create a reference out of this and now I can hide this again press escape to exit from the select external geometry and then select both of these points and coincident and now let's assign this a dimension of 50 close now similarly let's create a sketch over here as well create sketch 
and first let's create no control Z let me view the base profile and now um, I can create a circle over here which has a diameter of 50 close okay now let's call this um, flange profile 50 and this one base profile 50 now um, choose this additive pipe and go to wireframe and the reason why we're doing this is so that we are able to select this profile over here so choose base profile 50 and then click over here subtractive pipe and in add edge start selecting this uh, path over here And finally, section transformation, multi section, add section, and wait, let me just select it from here. Flange profile 50. You can also do this if you're unable to select from here, just go to model and select from there. Okay. And now just click over here and return from wireframe to flat lines. Now here we can see this is not hollowed and the reason for that is this is being viewed as well. So let's hide this and only view this. So here we can see we have the hollowed out part and the last step, step number six, we have to create a fillet of 15 millimeter. And in order to give the radius, just select these two edges and then go to this option, fillet and let's give this a radius of 15 millimeter okay this gives us an error and i think i might know the reason if i just quickly measure this and this okay so this is exactly 15 millimeters apart and as soon as the radius intersects with this line it gives us an error so if i give this a fillet of 14 and 16 14 or 16 then it should be okay so first let's give this a radius of 14 yeah this is okay and if I change this to 16 this is okay as well now I'm not sure what exactly can be done in order to have a radius of 15 millimeter you can see this is giving us an error so for this tutorial let's leave it at 14 millimeter so thank you for watching this video and this is one of the way we can create a 3d sketch using projected curve and you can check out another method for creating a 3d sketch be sure to check out this video and this is all from this video thank you for watching and see you next time